What's up guys, today we're going to be covering the IF operator in Rust. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, for those of you who are new to programming, uh, what I thought I would do is actually draw a diagram, and we're going to go over and visually explain how the IF operator works. Now, one important thing about the IF operator to know is that the IF operator is a Boolean operator, meaning that it always evaluates to either true or false. Now, what I've gone and done here is I'm going to I'm setting up a visual example for you guys who aren't so familiar with the if operator to actually explain how this works. So on the left hand side here, uh, you can see we've got two empty boxes. Now, um, this empty box will say that this is actually filled with white. And this empty box on the right hand side is also filled with white. And I'm not too concerned about the shape. We're going to ignore that um, because that's just my bad drawing. So at the moment, what we're actually saying here is does, this, does the color of this box equal the color of this box? Now, if this was an if statement in programming, uh, the answer to that would of course evaluate to true. But let's go ahead and quickly also fill this in with, enough, uh, with another color. So I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool here. There it was. Here we go. Alright, so now what we've got here is we've got a new condition. We're saying, does this red color equal this white color? And obviously the answer to that is no. So as you can see, the if operator is really simple and it's just basic, basic algebraic concepts. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into some code and we're actually going to see how this works in Rust. Uh, Rust actually uh, uses the if operator much more like dynamically typed languages. Uh, and so it's not so like C and C++ uh, for those of you who are familiar with the if operator in those languages. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into some code and we'll see how it actually works within Rust. So as you can see here, we have a example and as you might have noticed, my example is exactly the same as the books and that's for good reason. That's so you guys can actually follow along. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you basically what's going on here line by line. So the first thing we've got here is our variable declaration and we've assigned the variable x equal to 25. Now on line four here, you can see we've got our new operator that is the if operator. And what we're saying here in plain English is that if, if the uh, variable x is equal to the number 25, then we want to perform all the actions within, within this scope. Alright, so let's go ahead and actually run our code. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to our terminal here. Um, and of course we are in the same directory as our cargo.toml file. Um, and we're going to say sudo cargo run. Now you shouldn't actually have to use sudo. I have to use sudo because of a special permission set that I accidentally set up on my hard drive, but it works well for me now anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and run our code here. And as you can see, uh, we got the evaluation of the number was indeed 25, which obviously makes sense because uh, x does equal to 25 in our current case. Now let's just quickly change x to 24 just to prove that this evaluation is actually happening. So for those of you wondering what is an evaluation, uh, it's basically a question that we're asking the computer to determine whether it is true or false. So as you can see, I've changed x equal to 24, but our evaluation is still asking the question, uh, is x equal to 25? So let's go ahead and we'll jump into our terminal here and we'll say sudo cargo run. And as you can see, we got absolutely no output from the program. And that's because um, our, our program evaluated the if statement equal to false. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, in the next video, we're going to be going over the else if operator. And then we're also going to be going over how to use the if operator in assignment in Rust, which is a pretty cool, somewhat unique feature to Rust. Um, so thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Love you all. Peace.